ஹாய் கோயம்புத்தூர் ஸோ நம்ம எல்லாருக்கும் காஃபின்னு கேட்கும்போது பல பல மெமரிஸ் பட் அபிநயம் சுந்தரம்க்கு இன்னைக்கு காஃபின்னு சொன்னால் இட் மீன்ஸ் ஆர்ட் டு ஹர் So she owns a beautiful place called Musings in Race Course along with her husband. This place booms with creativity so whenever you get time please drop in. So let's ask her, ask her how she came to know about coffee art. Hi Abhinaya, so how are you? And uh, coffee art, how are you doing coffee art? It is not like I am doing coffee art, it is already there. People have been doing coffee art since ages. Uh, like initially when, when things were like olden ages where painting started it started with coffees and natural uh, colors they use that's how it started for me it started before one and a half years with another friend who who used to do it i just saw her doing and uh, from there it it all started and i started trying out the same techniques that she uses and after a few uh, paintings i started putting on my own because i usually usually i i i am little uh, into paintings also so i myself add on few stuffs to the techniques that she had and then it all started like that so i just wanted to keep myself alive so i do lot of paintings and stuff that's how it, it also started i i didn't even think that i'll be taking classes but just like that i started doing it and when people see it in my facebook page and instagram page they were like okay why are you not taking classes it is something good that you want to do then from that on it all triggered and uh, i seriously started doing stuff what kind of materials do you use for this kind of painting okay uh, for coffee painting it's only coffee uh, coffee with water and uh, like we as we have different uh, brands of coffee and different uh, varieties of coffee like granulated very fine powdered i i keep trying different Mm-hmm. coffees so first i was trying with instant coffee and then i started trying with brewed coffees and uh, the instant coffee itself has t- two three different varieties just keep on trying with that and we'll get the shades out of it so a coffee painting is just a monochrome painting only with coffee and water you will not find any colors to it only it's brown so using only brown bringing out the picture that you want is is the technique that involves in it uh, so how do you see people getting interested in coffee art yeah not really like uh, like lot of people doesn't like uh, uh, the monochrome paintings but people who really like it are very intense to it and i could see the interests are much more uh, coming up uh, yeah uh, kids I, i don't see kids coming up for coffee wor- workshops because they love colors and people who really know the intensity of the monochrome paintings are really coming up for the workshop and i learn a lot from them as well as an artist how is it easy to make a living as an artist or is it hard living uh, i i am not uh, i am not living out of the artworks that i do i i just do it for passion i have my uh, bread and butter from the other other job that we have so it is tough for artists who want to uh, make their bread and butter out of art is little tough because people see it as a, a luxury uh, item not like day to day stuff to buy art like not like vegetables that they can't live out with so i could say like uh, it is always better to have a backup and then do your passion towards it and if you really good at what you're doing and if you're really getting uh, getting yourself into it then you can take a risk of going into your art field thank you abhinaya all the best for your future ventures thank, thank you thank you so much